good morning. So today we are taking part in one of my favourite activities. What's so funny? Good morning. Good morning. It's still the morning. <laughs> now I have to do it again. Good morning. So today we are taking part in one of my favourite activities. We are renting some scooters. I'm going to go explore the island of Panglao, see what we can find, find some pretty beaches, relax and chill out. So we had a bit of a stress and drama with the bikes. They didn't want us to pay tomorrow, but pay today, even though they had our IDs. So we paid anyway. Then they wanted to give us a bike that had no wing mirrors, which we said no to. Then they wanted to give us a bike with flat tire, which we said no to. So now we are cancelling all the bikes and we're gonna see if we can find them somewhere else. We don't know yet. We'll see what happens. Only time will tell. After much ado about nothing, we are now at a different bike shop getting different bikes. Hopefully this time all functional. We're just seeing if we can get enough helmets between us, but we don't know if we can yet. But I think we've got a decent price for paying. 350 pesos for 24 hours. So it's not too bad. And we're gonna go to the beach, get some lunch, but hopefully the rest of the day will be stress and drama free. Because right now I really just need to chill. We managed to get three bikes sorted, but there's a group of 11 of us, so we need six bikes. And for the life of me, I can't figure out why they're not giving us more, but it's just not happening. More arguments, more stress and drama, but I'm sure eventually we will be setting off. It's just a, a long ass process and people are getting pretty pissed off, myself included. Now, 10 days into quitting smoking, smoke free, and today is really testing my patience. I still haven't had a cigarette. I really want one today. There is nothing like a bike to de-stress and unwind. I just gotta find out where I'm going to. I pulled over because I have no idea where I'm going. And my helmet's also about to fly off, which is great. But I'm just getting hangry now, and finding vegetarian food is the next challenge, so. Fingers crossed I find some before I go absolutely crazy, but it's okay. I'm gonna relax, it's gonna be fine. Currently lost somewhere in Panglao Island. Nice little village far away from everything. But I've got some kids here to help me. Say hi guys. Hi. <laughs> Um, so I'm just gonna stop and look for my friends now, but we'll see what happens. Managed to successfully reunite and we have driven to a nice little lunch spot. So gonna go eat something a lot because I'm very, very hungry. We ordered the food like an hour ago and it still hasn't come and I think most of us are starting to get pretty hangry right now. So I'm well aware that being vegetarian in the Philippines was due to be a challenge. I read this everywhere. Um, I have had some really, really nice vegetarian meals, however, today... So I ordered a uh, vegetable fried rice and, well, I just got a, a plate of cucumber and carrot, really. Um, <laughs> with a little bit of rice on the side. A delicious, nutritious meal, to say the least. After a somewhat disappointing meal, I'm gonna head to the beach, hopefully get an ice cream to really fill me up. But we're just gonna pay, back on the bikes, and off we go. Red salt to the wound, I just paid 245 pesos for a plate of cucumber, carrots, and rice. That's very extortionate by Filipino prices. Even by English prices, that's not great, so yeah. Very unsuccessful meal for maybe the third or fourth time and a little bit pissed off but I'm not going to let it rain on my parade. We made it as a big group of 11 down to White Beach where we're going to have a little chill and a little swim. So these guys are walking really far out and they're not even at a uh, hip level of the water yet so I guess it's really shallow. We just chilled in the sea for a little while, chilling and chatting. I think now maybe I'm going to try and see if I can find somewhere on the island to see a nice sunset because I haven't seen one since being on where am I, Panglao. I didn't bring the proper equipment to strap the GoPro to the bike so I can't really show you what it's like riding around but the roads here are really nice and super easy to use. We've just recovered from a hostile power cut. The power was off for about half an hour but it's back on now. But for whatever reason, the water is now not working, so I can't have a shower, which is great. Just spent a little bit of time picking up the ukulele and practicing, which is fun for me because I really do want to learn a musical instrument at some point, but um, yeah, I don't actually have the chance while I'm traveling, but picking up the ukulele here and there is fun. But just kind of killing time until the, uh, the water's back on so I can get dressed for the evening. Best day of my life. Honestly, I'm just having one of those days where it feels like everything is going wrong. From the arguing with the bikes this morning, to the crappy food that we ate, to... Uh, now I can't have a shower. I did have a shave, managed that, but the showers are literally just not turning on at all. So I just have to wait to see if they get fixed. 
and I'm starving. I really want dinner. That lunch was so bad, so I didn't have anything to eat really. Um, but staying positive, staying okay, it's gonna be fine, I'm sure. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've got up to in Panglao. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, wherever. All my social media links are down below. And I really do hope to see you again soon for another vlog. Goodbye.